we're going to open up this master cylinder and see what's inside. This is off a 2014 Ford Expedition. This master cylinder failed, causing the brake pedal to fade. There were no leaks in the system, but there was an internal leak. When it was on the vehicle, we blocked it off here and here and it still faded, so that meant the fluid was leaking internally. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Now first we're going to have to remove this. That's what holds the piston together. Okay, there's part of it. Oh, there's still a bunch of fluid in it. Let me dump it out. Just the right angle here. You can see there's a lip of a seal that's rolled over. So that is most certainly what was causing our leak. We'll take our plugs out of it. We don't need those anymore. We should take our reservoir off. That's our reservoir. We'll try and open this as well. So now you can see where the reservoir goes on and the holes for the fluid there. There's a hole at the front. We can pull these out so you can see. That's where our lines go on. It's trying to come out, but that seal that was wrinkled up is a problem. So let's go ahead and pull that seal. Okay, there's the seal. I suspect that this is what was failing inside. All right, so I've decided that the best way for you guys to see what's going on inside this thing is for me to cut it in half. So it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna use a hacksaw. It's an old rusty one. Um, I was thinking about a sawzall. I don't own a bandsaw. That would be the ultimate way to just cut it right in half. But uh, I think the hacksaw is gonna do the least amount of damage as we cut through it. It's just aluminum. So if it takes half an hour or something, it'll be a good workout. Okay, we almost got it here. We gotta get the saw blade out. There we go. Now, because my cut got a little off there, I'm gonna attempt to crack it in half. There we go. Okay, if you've ever wanted to see a brake master cylinder cut open, I've got one for you now. The principle at which your brake system in your vehicle works is based on Pascal's principle. So with the reservoir mounted on, you can see the fluid will run in these openings and flow into the master cylinder. Now in the master cylinder, the fluid is going to enter through this port and this port. So your fluid enters those two ports and fills the master cylinder, specifically this chamber here and this chamber at the front. When you step on your brake, it compresses the fluid in this area and this area. When you let go of the brake, these springs will return the piston to its rest setting. Now, as the fluid is compressed in this area, in this area, travels out these holes to your lines and to your brake assemblies, calipers, wheel cylinders, your ABS module. So in our case, with this master cylinder that was leaking, as we stepped on the brake and we created that fluid pressure in these areas, it was leaking back past the seal and into the reservoir. Years ago, you strictly relied on the pressure in your leg to force that fluid to all of the wheels. 
Now we have boosted brake systems with uh, vacuum boosters and hydro boost, things that increase the pressure so that we don't have to use all the muscles in our leg to stop the vehicle. If you've ever driven an old truck or an old car like from the 1960s or earlier that had manual brakes, that means that all the force from your leg pushing the fluid, that's all you get to the brakes, no extra. So that's a pretty simple explanation of a master cylinder with a cutaway view so you can see how it operates. So thanks for watching.